Aloha yogis. Thank you so much for joining me in your practice today. Just make sure you have all of your, your props with you in case we need them during the class. If you love these classes, please don't forget to subscribe at the bottom of the screen and maybe spread the word to anybody you think might benefit from taking these classes. So we'll just come and sit on our heels very gently and bring our hands onto our thighs. Closing our eyes gently and start just tapping into your body, the space you find yourself in. Notice anything that you're bringing in with you on your mat, anything emotional, anything physical that you might be going through. Bring your attention to your face. With your eyes closed, notice any tension you might be holding in your forehead, in your cheekbones, in your jaw. in your throat and just relax here and then try and relax these areas notice your ears relax them down towards your your shoulders and then Press the shoulders down gently away from the ears, sending your torso and your shoulders above your hips. Bring your attention down your arms and your fingers, the palms of your hands. Scanning your body and then notice your belly. Your belly this is the mula bandha area, this area of reproduction and groundedness where we root down into the earth. We'll take some nourishing breaths here into the belly, our center. So we'll take a deep breath in and a nice breath out. However you like the breaths to be, your mouth can be opened or closed. One more. Notice how your legs feel your hips, your knees, your shins, your calves, the top of your feet. We'll use our breath as a real way of moving us through our practice, breath of life. Every breath is nourishing and grounding and be mindful of every breath you take in and every exhalation and the length of these. Maybe lengthen your exhalations throughout your practice. Beautiful, inhale, your arms overhead, look up, palms together. Exhale, hands to heart. Again. So we'll come off of our heels and just raise your feet off of the mat, hands underneath shoulders. And just start rotating your ankles here. Just 
Nice rotations with the ankles to loosen them up. Beautiful. And then making sure that your knees are hip width apart and below your hips and your wrists are below your shoulders. Inhale into a cow. Drop the belly down, tailbone up. Press the ground away from you. Exhale, round your back. Press the, sh the shoulder blades away from the each other. We're protracting the shoulder blades, belly button drawn into spine. Inhale, back into a cow. Keep doing this with your own breath, being mindful of pressing the top of the feet into the mat. Just opening up the body here. Warming up the spine. And then start swaying your hips side to side and then turn your fingers towards the outside of your mat and just warming up the wrists, going side to side with our bodies. Staying with your breath, try and be gentle with yourself and carry your breath along with you, focusing on the energy you're creating for yourself right now. Good. Come back to center and then bring the right foot behind you on the ball and start swaying forward and back. Taking a deep breath in, a nice breath out, start tapping into your core. Being mindful of drawing the belly button into the spine with what we're doing right now. Come back to stillness and raise the back leg parallel to the mat, toes pointing down towards your mat. Extend the left arm forward. Take a deep breath in. Press the ground away from you with the right hand. Lift the back leg up with the glute and being mindful of the midline of the body. Really working here. Draw the belly button into the spine. Reach out of both ends and stay here as you exhale. One more breath. Stay here and exhale. Inhale. And then exhale, draw the left elbow towards the knee. Inhale, right knee to left elbow as you exhale. Five more, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, inhale, really reach out of both ends, stay here. Good, bring the left hand down on your mats, keep the right leg up behind you and we'll pulse it up for five, four, three, two, one. And then start doing nice big circles with the knee here. Opening up the hip, nice big circle. And then switch directions. Nice. And then bring it back down. Inhale the left foot behind you and start swaying forward and back with your breath. Warming up the calf, the left calf. Send your breath into the calf. 
We're also warming up the ankles and the wrists. Beautiful. Come back to stillness and then inhale, lift the back leg up parallel to the mat, toes pointing down towards your mat to level out your hips. Inhale, the right arm forward, and then exhale here. Again, reach out of both ends, press the mat away from you, draw the belly button into the spine, squeeze that glute, that left glute, and then exhale. One more. Exhale, knee to elbow. Again, inhale, reach out. Knee to elbow for five. Four. Draw the belly button in. Three. Two. One. Inhale, reach out of both ends, reach, reach, reach. And then exhale, only draw the right hand onto your mat. Keep that leg raised and we'll pulse it here for a count of five, four, three. Squeeze the glute, two, one. And then bend that knee and start doing nice big circles with your knee and your hip here. Breathe into that hip. Coming home into your body with your breath. Nourishing that home you have. Taking care of yourself. Mm. Beautiful. And then switch directions with your circles. Relax your gaze down at your mat. Good. Come back to center. Open your knees mat width apart, big toes to touch. Send your hips back into extended child's pose and then reach your arms forward. Inhale into the belly and then up the chest. Lifting the fingers off of the mat, activating your arms. And then exhale, release your arms on your mat and just release the heart down towards your mat. Do this a few more times with your breath. Activating the arms as you tent your fingers and maybe drawing your fingers a little bit further in the front to lengthen the spine. Exhale, lower. Inhale, pull yourself forward into a tabletop and then send yourself down, only touching the nose on your mat in a push-up. Push yourself back up, send your hips back as you exhale. We'll do this five times. Inhale to center, exhale, lower down. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, send your hips back. Making sure your elbows are by your sides at all times. Good. Inhale. Exhale the arms to the right. Deep breath here. Into the left side. And exhale. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the left. Deep inhale into the right side. And exhale. Inhale, back to center. And exhale. Inhale, press yourself up. Tuck your toes. Send your hips back for downward facing dog. 
You're in your first downward facing dog, so keeping the knees slightly bent, start pedaling your feet here. Just slowly coming into more movement here. Inhale, heels up, exhale them down. Send your tailbone up and away from you. As you press the mat away from you, lengthening the spine, drawing the belly button into the spine, activating your core, press the back of the legs towards the back of the room. Draw the elbows in towards each other, framing your shoulders and strengthening the upper back, activating the lats and the shoulder blades. Deep breath in. Open your mouth side out. Again, relax the neck. Inhale, heels up, bend the knees. Step to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. And in your, in your half lift here, just be mindful of Sending your weight forward into the ball of your feet and your toes with a slight bend in the knees. And then exhale, hinging at the hips, you fold forward. Inhale, half lift. You can take your blocks here. If you want to really um, create a flatter back for yourself and being mindful of that, having blocks underneath the hands can really help you here. Reach the crown of your head forward before you fold forward. And then exhale, fold forward. Again. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step back into high plank, lower the knees, and we'll lower down for a count of five, four, tuck the elbows in, three, two, one, untuck the toes, press the pubic bone down into the mat, lift the kneecaps, inhale, baby cobra. Shoulders away from the ears, exhale, lower. We'll do this five more times. Squeeze the shoulder blades as you come up. And lower. Inhale. Squeeze the glutes gently. Stay with your breath and your body. Good. Press yourself up into a tabletop. Tuck the toes, send your hips back for downward facing dog. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down. Good. Inhale, heels up, bend the knees, step to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend the knees, step back into high plank. Lower the knees down and we'll lower down for a count of five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, baby cobra. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, lower. This time, we're gonna do it three more times with the hands off of the mat, just into a hover. Inhale, peel yourself up into baby cobra, lifting the hands up. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, lower. Press the top of the feet into the mat. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press yourself into a tabletop. Tuck the toes, send your hips back for downward facing dog. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down. And really straightening the legs a little bit more here. Reaching the tailbone up and away from you. Inhale, the right leg above you into three-legged dog, pointing the right toes down towards your mat, lifting from the inside of the thigh. Feeling that lift in the inside of the right glute. Lift, lift, lift. And then exhale, draw the knee into the chest. 
hold for two, one, sweep it back, reach, exhale, sweep it back into the nose and hold for two, one, sweep it back into three-legged dog, inhale, exhale, inhale, sweep it back, knee to nose for five, four, three, two, one, sweep it back, inhale, exhale, lower it down to downward facing dog. Inhale, roll yourself into a high plank, lower the knees, exhale, lower for five, four, three, two, one. Untuck the toes with hands off of the mat, inhale, up into a baby cobra, Exhale, lower. Two more times. Good. Inhale, press yourself into a tabletop. Tuck the toes. Exhale, send your hips back for downward facing dog. Inhale, heels up. Exhale them down. Inhale, the left leg behind you for three-legged dog, left toes pointed down towards your mat. Reach out of that back heel to lift, lift your leg higher with that left glute. Think of lifting with the inner thigh as well. Draw the belly button into the spine. Look down, relax your neck. Exhale, knee to nose. Hold here for two, one. Inhale, sweep it back. Exhale, sweep it knee to nose, hold for two, one, sweep it back. Slow, deliberate, mindful movements. Exhale, sweep it forward, hold it knee to nose for five, four, three, higher, two, one. Inhale, sweep it back. And then exhale, lower that foot down to meet the right. Deep inhale, open your mouth side out, again, inhale both heels up, bend the knees, hop to the front of the mat, inhale half lift, exhale fold, maybe fold a little bit deeper by holding the back of your calves here, inhale half lift, reach the tailbone up and away from you, and then exhale, fold forward. When you fold forward, draw the belly button into the spine. Good. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step back into high plank, and we'll lower down all the way down for a count of five, four, three, two, one. Untuck the toes, inhale, cobra. Peel yourself off of the mat, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, lower. Again. And lower. One more time. And lower down as you exhale. Inhale, press yourself up into a tabletop. Tuck your toes, send your hips back for downward facing dog. We're gonna do the same thing we just did, just a little bit faster. If you're ready, so inhale the right leg up behind you, knee to nose for two, one, sweep it back. Exhale, knee to nose, two, one, sweep it back. Exhale, knee to nose, five, four, three, two, one, sweep it back, inhale, exhale, lower down, roll yourself into high plank, lower down for five, four, three, two, one, untuck the toes, inhale, cobra, exhale, lower, inhale, cobra, exhale, lower, inhale, press yourself up, tuck the toes, send your hips back for downward facing dog, inhale, the left leg behind you, exhale, knee to nose for two, one, inhale, sweep it back. Exhale, knee to nose for two, one, 
sweep it back, inhale, exhale, knee to nose for five, four, three, two, one, inhale, sweep it back, exhale, meet the left foot down, sway yourself forward into a high plank, lower down for five, four, three, two, one, inhale, cobra, exhale, lower, Inhale, press yourself up into a tabletop, tuck your toes and send your hips back for downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg above you. Exhale, slowly send it forward, step it between the hands, lower the back knee. Inhale, arms up, exhale, lunge. Again, inhale. Exhale, bring the palms together, release the fingers, point the index back for a back bend. Stay here, arms away from the ears. Good, exhale, lower the hands down, step back into high plank, lower down, halfway for chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg above you, and exhale, let's sweep it forward, step it between the hands, release the back knee, inhale, arms up. Exhale, lunge deeper. Activating the fingers and sliding the shoulder blades down your back. Inhale, strong abdominals. Exhale, bring the palms together. Release the fingers, point the index back for a nice back bend. Again, opening the heart towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to your mat. Step it back through high plank, lower down halfway as you exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg above you. Hold it here, deep inhale. And then a nice exhale. Inhale. Exhale, slowly send it forward, stepping between the hands, preparing yourself for high lunge here. Set yourself up for a successful high lunge, balancing yourself up. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, lunge deeper. I'll just bring your attention to the back leg. Strong back leg, press the heel out and away to lift the leg up, activating the kneecap. Arms overhead, inhale, reach up. And then exhale, twist to the right. Send your arms up above you, inhale. Twist to the right, arms by your side, scissor your legs, come back to center, and then one more, lunge deeper and we'll stay here for five, four, three, two, one, bring that right hand on the back thigh and come into a nice reverse high lunge here, deep inhale into the left side, you don't have to go here if you can't, it's okay. Keep breathing and then windmill your hands forward, step it back for high plank, lower down chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, open your mouth, side out. Again, beautiful. Inhale, the left leg up above you, reach it high. And exhale, staying here. Again, deep inhale. Exhale, send your knee forward, step it between the hands, set yourself up for high lunge. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, lunge deeper. Maybe you widget, wiggle your, the ball of your feet, your foot back further if you want a more wider stance. Inhale, exhale, bend the front knee deeper. Again. Oh. Inhale, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Back to center. And twist to the left and hold here for five, four, three, two, 
one. Drop that left hand onto the right thigh, and then nice reversed high lunge. Breathe. And then windmill your hands forward. Step it back into high plank, lower down, chaturanga. <laughs> Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Good. Inhale, both heels up. Exhale, both heels down. So we're gonna go into the outer hip and leg stretch now. So take the left foot, turn the toes, straighten that leg and bring that right foot in front of you and then press out of that left hip. See? Press out of the hands and then really start stretching that outer hip. You could even bring your hands a bit towards the right. Mm. And then come back to center and then switch sides. You can really feel that happening here. Press out of that right hip. And then come back to center. Inhale, heels up. And then exhale, draw them down. <sighs> Inhale, bring the right knee in and then turn your leg towards the left side. So perp perpendicular to your body underneath you, place it onto the mat, turn your left foot onto its side and then send your hips down towards the mat. Arm, left arm up. Inhale, press the left hip up. Exhale it down. <sighs> Five. Four, three, strong abdominals here, two, one, hold it here. Maybe lift that foot off of the mat, the right foot off of the mat for five, four, three, two, one. Without touching the mat, come back to center. Bring that leg up behind you into three-legged dog. Roll forward, chaturanga with one leg. Inhale, up dog. Next, exhale, downward facing dog. Heels up. And then heels down. And now we'll do the other side. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, bring that left knee in. Turn your leg on the inside. Turn yourself onto the side. Right arm above you. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here, left the left leg off of the mat for five, four, three, two, one. Come back to center, send that leg up for three-legged dog. And then exhale, chaturanga with one leg. <sighs> Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Good. Inhale, the right leg above you. Bend the knee, stack the hips. <sighs> really reach that right knee up as far as it'll go. And then exhale, draw the knee into the right elbow. And we'll come into pigeon. So set your right leg out as far behind as you can, straightened. Oh, and then you can hold your blocks for king pigeon or here, bring your hands to heart. Hold it here. You can even interlace the fingers behind you, pressing the palms away, opening your chest. Breathe. Relax. Good. Bring your hands back 
and then slowly lower yourself down with your leading with your heart and then maybe stack your head on stacked fists few breaths here Relax the shoulders, the upper back, the neck, the jaw. When you're ready, bring yourself back up slowly. Tuck the back toes. Send that leg back up for three-legged dog. And then exhale, roll yourself forward into chaturanga with one leg. <sighs> Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale, the left leg above you, bend that knee and then stack the hips. Deep inhale <sighs> and a nice exhale here. Draw the left shoulder down towards your mat. Lift that knee up higher, inhale. Exhale, send that left knee into the left elbow. Come into pigeon. Wiggle that right foot back. And then again, you can set yourself up for king pigeon first. You can take your blocks, hold yourself up again. And when you're ready, you can bring your hands to heart. Mm. Maybe sweep your arms behind you, interlace the fingers, press, press your, the top of your hands away from you, opening up the heart. Come back to center and then slowly lower yourself down. Leading with your heart. <sighs> Just relax here. Just relax your weight down into the earth. Breathe into that left hip. Good. Slowly come back up. One more last chaturanga, but first inhale that left leg up behind you into three-legged dog, reach. And then exhale, round yourself forward, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good. And then bring your knees down. Sit down into your heels. Come into a child's pose, arms by your side. Relax the shoulders down towards your mat. Palms facing up, deep breath, expanding the belly into your thighs, opening up the back with your breath, and then exhale, release your breath, again, mindful breathing. Connecting the breath with the body, the mind in the body. We're practicing mindfulness and being in the present moment. Slowly come on to your sit bones. And open the right leg. 
Extend the right leg and bring that left foot inside of the right thigh. Inhale, bring your arms overhead, turn your torso towards the extended leg, and then exhale, hinge forward and fold into your leg here. Deep breath. You can hold on to your foot, your shins, or just have your hands by your side, the side of your legs on your mat. If your arms are really long and you want extra length, you can bring a block underneath your foot and hold on to the block. Inhale, lengthen the spine and the crown forward. Exhale, fold deeper. Maybe when you do that, you can start touching your head on your thigh. Feeling that nice hamstring stretch here. Maybe that the, the left side of your lower back. Slowly come back up. And we'll come and do the other side now. So extend that left leg out. Bring that right foot inside of the left thigh. Inhale, arms overhead. Turn your torso towards the extended leg. Exhale, hinge forward. And then drop your hands, holding on to your feet, your foot or your shin. Inhale, lengthen from the from the sit bones and the tailbone. Exhale, fold. Deep breath here. Send the breath in the back of the left leg. One more. Good. Slowly come back up. Prepare yourself for wide-legged forward bend. So open both legs up. You can sit on a blanket here if it's better for you or a block. And then bring that block in front of you if you need that. So inhale, lengthen out of your hips, lifting out of your chest. Exhale, send yourself forward, leading with the heart. And then drop your arms onto the mat, and your forehead onto your block. And then we'll just keep those toes flexed on both feet. And if this is too much, bring your legs in more towards the center or have some towels or blanket underneath your knees to support you. Deep breath here, expanding the lower belly. Again, bringing our attention to the, this chakra, the, the Mula Bandha area. You can always change the height of your block as you Get warmer in your inner thighs. You're doing so well. Thank you so much for taking the time to practice with yourself and with me. Just relax here. And slowly come back up. Draw your legs in with your hands and then send your hands back and then sway your legs side to side in a windshield wiping movement. Just swaying side to side. Feels really good loosening the back. 
And then we'll come onto our back slowly. And we'll take the block between our thighs, okay? Bring your legs at a 90 degree angle and interlace the fingers behind the head, at the base of the head, thumbs along the side of your neck to support your head and your neck. Point the elbows up and away from you. And then we're gonna do some abdominal work, um, work here, but you can keep your knees bent or you can activate your legs pointing the ball of your feet up towards the ceiling, activating the toes as well. So we're gonna inhale, hold your breath, press the lower back down, lift the tailbone up, squeeze the block, come up as you exhale. Inhale, squeeze the block again, and then exhale, pull the belly down. Inhale, lower, hold your breath, Press the lower back down, lift the tailbone up, squeeze the block, come up. Inhale, lift up, squeeze the block. As you exhale, the belly button down. Do this five more times on your own, slow. Squeeze the glutes. When you, when you lift up, really lift out of the top of the feet towards the sky. It's an up movement more than sending your legs towards your face. I know, you can do it. And then lower everything down. Collapse the knees inwards. And then just gently sway yourself side to side. Extend the legs out in front of you and the arms overhead. We're gonna come into a low hovering kind of boat pose, right? But it's we're just gonna hover our arms and our legs off of the mat for a count of five. So inhale, hover up for five, four, three. Press the lower back down into the mat, two, one, Lower down, deep inhale, and a nice exhale. Again, inhale, hover for five, four, three, two, one, and lower down. Take a deep breath in, and a nice breath out. Bring your arms by your side. We're gonna hover again and we're gonna open our legs into a V and come back and we're gonna do this 10 times, okay? Inhale into a hover, open and close. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, draw the knees into the chest. Exhale, give yourself a hug. Maybe swaying yourself side to side here. Beautiful. Ah, 
Ah, oh. so bring your legs into a 90 degree angle. Bring your, your hands behind your head, interlacing the fingers again. We're gonna inhale, lift the tailbone up, and then draw the right leg in front of you as you twist to the left and you exhale, drawing the belly button down into the, the spine, but really reaching that right ball of the foot towards the front. Inhale, come back to center. Press the lower back down, lift the tailbone up. Exhale, twist to the right. Again. Never lower the shoulders. Twist to the left. Inhale, back to center. Twist to the right. Really reach that leg. Really reach that le left leg out forward. Lift the right shoulder off of the mat. Inhale, back to center. Reach to the left. <sighs> Inhale, back to center. Press the lower back down into the mat. <sighs> when you're twisting to the right, lift that right shoulder off of the mat. Come back to center. <sighs> Do two more on each side. Really feel that twist happening. Press the lower back down, lift the tailbone up. And then when you're ready, draw the knees into the chest. Sway yourself side to side. Bring both feet down on your mat, arms into a T. Bring the left leg on top of the right, knees at a 90 degree angle, and then just send your hips towards, send your knees towards the right, sorry, for a nice twist here. You can have a block underneath the, the legs if you need support. Take a deep breath in through the belly and the left side here. You can take the right hand and draw that left thigh down if that helps you. Relax the shoulders away from your ears. Deep breath. Start relaxing every effort. As you relax, you might start twisting even deeper. Relax your jaw. You can open it wide and just take big circles with your mouth. Mm -hmm. Relax your third eye area. The area of insight, intuition. Release the top leg first. Bring your knees back to center. And then draw the knees in towards your armpits. Knees towards the armpits and back out. Doing this with your hands. To, just to open up the hips slightly. And then bring the knees back together. And then bring the right leg on top of the left. And then just send your hips towards the left for a side twist. And again, I mean, you can have a block underneath the thigh here if it helps you.
come back slowly to center. Next breath, releasing the top leg first. And then rebounding here. And then grab the outer edges of your feet and come into a happy baby. Drawing the thighs down towards the mat. Press the tailbone down into your mat. Feet flex towards the knees. Try and keep your knees, in, your toes in line with your knees. Arms inside of the thighs. Press the shoulders down into your mat. Open the legs slightly wider. You can sway yourself side to side here. Now that feels good. Closing your eyes, relaxing your jaw. I like to open up my legs into a V. Feels really nice. And then bring the soles of the feet together. Pull the feet in towards your pubic bone. Pressing the knees away with your elbows. Take a deep breath in, in the belly. Side out. Slowly lower the feet down on your mat. Extend them out in front of you for your final Shavasana here. Bring the arms overhead if this feels good for you. Deep inhale. Exhale, <sighs> relax everything down. Breathe naturally. Noticing your breath now, the quality of your breath. the attention that you gave to your body, to your mind, your focus, your energy. Thank you so much for practicing with me. hollow. Mahalo nui loa. In Hawaiian that means thank you very much. Namaste.